mobile cell phones and electronic devices. And would everyone please stand for a moment of silence and the pledge to the flag. recognition awards tonight. The first one will be Proclamation Recognizing Parks and Recreation Month. So I would ask Wayne, are you here for County Executive Newhouse for that? Yeah, sorry, Wayne and Rich Rose, if you could please come to the mic and Barry Cheney, if you would step down, please. Thank you. Let me just start by saying that uh, um, I use the county parks and most frequently I use them to impersonate a golfer. Um, <laughs> one of my fellow uh, legislators, Matt Turnbull, uh, he does a much better job at impersonating a golfer than I do, I understand, although I haven't played golf with him. And, uh, Matt, uh, the parks miss your revenue with, with the hip replacement. Uh, you haven't been there this year, so I'm sure next year you'll catch up. I was, I've already told the Commissioner Rose that it's going to be rain. <laughs> So we have a proclamation here uh, designating July as Parks and Recreation Month. And uh, I think we all know how important our parks are, what a vital role they play for our residents, um, and the importance not just for our residents, but also the relationship between the Parks Department, uh, our county historian, and our tourism office. So it's uh, uh, something that, uh, you know, that synergy needs to exist, and I think it uh, does very well. Um, and would, rather than read the proclamation, I think just uh, would like to say that uh, we appreciate the efforts of the management team in parks and also uh, the, the employees who, who make the parks a very inviting place to be for both our residents and, uh, and visitors. Uh, thank you very much. Every July we, uh, we come here just to, as a reminder, uh, a not so subtle reminder that parks and recreation is an important part of all of our lives. And in Orange County, we're very blessed to have uh, not just great county parks, but great state parks and great local parks as well. And uh, Barry, I appreciate your business there. We've had some of our best meetings at about 6.30 in the morning on right. some weekdays when uh, we catch up with each other. So um, we appreciate it, and I thank the legislature for this recognition. And you have been sworn to secrecy regarding any comments about my golf game. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> about anybody. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I'd just like to add to what Mr. Cheney said. Unfortunately, I'm less of a golfer than he is. Uh, I'm a former park ranger for the town of Newburgh, and I've worked very closely with uh, the Parks and Recreation Department here, and I've had the opportunity to work very closely with Rich. Uh, he's done a great job. He's doing great improvements. He's they moving things along, change with the times, and, and it's great because the parks are an added amenity that the county has that everyone has the opportunity to use. So, Rich, thank you for doing a great job, and uh, keep up the good work. Thank you. Thank you. Um, our second recognition award of certificates uh, awarded to the Collaborative Governing Program of Orange County. Leadership coaches presented by NYSERDA and dispute resolution. 
So I'm gonna ask Legislator Mike Amo and Donna Ramlo um, from the Executive Director of Dispute Resolution Center. She would just introduce briefly, you know, what this is, and then we'll just say a couple words. First of all, uh, I want to um, say thank you for um, inviting us here. We're all very excited to be here, um, and for the continuing support that we get from from you as the legislators of Orange County. The collaborative government program has been um, an initiative that was brought to us from um, NISAC and NYSTRA, <coughs> along with the Orange County. And we're really very excited because this is a great initiative and um, we really hate, hope to that it's going to become statewide one day. But we're in our third year and um, what's happening now is this is our new coaches that have just finished their first year of being trained and you'll be seeing them in your committee meetings because that's part of their internship is to be at the committee meetings just learning what it's all about. And um, then eventually, hopefully in September, we're gonna have you assigned, if you'd like a coach, we will assign you a coach. So again, we thank you very much for your support, and I'd like to present our new coaches. Thank you, Donna. Um, you know, I think that we, way back when we began this idea with New York State uh, NISAC, uh, Steve Aquario, who's the executive director of NISAC, uh, said to me, at a meeting that he wished there was some way we could begin to work together between all parties and could we do begin to do something. He was, he was talking to a group of people, not to me. And, but it wasn't just Orange County, it was everywhere. And it seemed to come because of the dispute resolution uh, and, and center, a natural place to begin. And I'm really happy that the Orange County Legislature joined in to try to be the pilot process and try to get this thing off the ground. And I think it's a, it can really develop across the state and I really think it can work well. And, and we're sort of the, the petri dish for it all and try to make it work. And, and uh, I appreciate all my colleagues helping that. If you want to, uh, we can give these, these words out. You want to announce them? Dennis Stolp. Willa Frybrand, she was unable to attend tonight. One of our original coaches. Kenneth, <laughs> Kenneth Ronz and Willa are our coaches that have uh, from the beginning. John O'Malley. Mary and Frank. Are here, we just want to say thank you very much because it's our understanding that this time you put in for the training was all volunteer on your own time, so we sincerely do appreciate it. Thank you. We do have one speaker signed up, Marianne McDonough. Um, if you would come to the mic, please just state your name and your town. Marianne McDonough, town of Mount Hope. The issue I'm here to speak on tonight is your raises. I want to preface it by saying that there's no self-interest. I'm not getting anything out of this. I'm not a union member. 
And I also don't know which of you or how many of you have uh, put this so that it could come to the floor. So I'm not pointing any fingers. I won't know that till the vote is taken. However, uh, I am here to discuss the fact that none of you, the administration nor the legislature, did anything to help the union with their raises. In fact, the union was stiffed uh, at their attempt at a pay raise. As I recall, they received 0% for a number of years of their new contract. This was done under the guise that the county financials were in dire straits. Now, they're not in such dire straits. And yet those of you who will vote to generously pad your own full pockets, I do not know how you sometimes sleep at night. Do you really need more money? The county tax dollars that this government collects should be spent on the people. People like the taxpayers and the county employees who do the real work of government. The men and women who take care of our roads, who clean our buildings, who take care of paperwork in our various offices to keep this county running should go to our social services and health department and 9-11 employees who care for the health and safety of county residents, and last but not least, those that care for the sick, the elderly, the disabled, and the dying at our county nursing home that many of you have tried to close since 2010 in an effort to sell the land. Where were you to advocate for the raises for these hardworking employees as I recall, you did not. In this next year, an election year for all of you, I hope the electorate comes to their senses and votes every one of you out of office who votes for this raise for themselves in their own personal pocketbook. This yes vote will document your lack of concern for the people, the people of Orange County and the people who put you in office. And just let me remind you that your job is to look out for the people all the people, not just yourselves and the haves, all Orange County people. I would like to end my little speech here with two definitions. One is greed, a rapacious desire for more than one needs or deserves. And the second definition is from Thomas Jefferson. And in this, he speaks on the purpose of government. The purpose of government is to enable the people to live Safe, in safety and in happiness, government exists for the interests of the governed, not the governors. I ask you to consult your conscience, put people first, not yourselves, vote no to these pay raises. Thank you. I move to approve the minutes of May 5th, 2016. Second. All in favor? I move to vote collectively on item numbers 29 and 30. Second. If there are no objections, these items will be voted on collectively. Are there any referrals, withdrawals, or consents? There. I request consent to place on the agenda resolution of the Orange County Legislature sending a home rule message to the Honorable Andrew Cuomo in support of recently passed legislation, Senate 7959 and Assembly 10599, authorizing the Village of Montgomery in the County of Orange, acting by and through its Board of Trustees, to discontinue use as park land of certain lands and to use such lands for the installation and operation of solar panels to generate energy to be used for village purposes. Second. Thank you. If there are no objections, this will be placed on the agenda. That is number 31. Mr. Benton. Thank you, Madam Chair. It has a certain ring to it, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, at this time, I'd like to request that item numbers uh, 15 through 20 on the agenda, local laws, fixing the compensation for the chairperson of the Orange County Legislature, the majority and minority leaders of the Orange County Legislature, the chairpersons of the statutory committees of the Orange County Legislature, for legislators of the Orange County Legislature, for the county executive of Orange County, and for the county clerk of Orange County to be uh, effective for the term commencing of January 1, 2018, be withdrawn and sent back to committees for further discussion. 
There are no objections. These items will be withdrawn. Thank you. Okay, communications A, receive and file. Reports double A, receive and file. Double B, receive and file. Double C, refer to all legislators. And we now move to agenda item number one. Legislators Ruskevich and Vanelli. Resolution of the Orange County Legislature assuming lead agency status under the State Environmental Quality Review Act seeker with respect to the drainage rehabilitation project on County Road Number 60 in the Town of Mount Hope. Classifying the action as unlisted and determining that the action will not have any significant adverse environmental impacts. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Roll call. <laughs> I really want to get out of here. I'm sorry. She needed roll call. <laughs> I did. Sorry, roll call. Bonison? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cantorino? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulasek, Padu, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Vero, Russia. 20, 19 eyes, I'm sorry. Passes, thank you. Resolution number two. Legislators Benton and Hines. Resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Emergency Services, Emergency Management, to accept a grant fund from the New York State Division of Homeland Security and Emergency Services pursuant to section 99-H of the General Municipal Law and section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Thank you, roll call. Anasa? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cantorino? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Fagione? Hines? Keminitz? Kulasek? Padu? Ruskevich? Sullivan? Bureau? 19 eyes. Thank you. Agenda item number three. Legislators Benton and DeSalvo. Resolution making a supplemental appropriation to the 2015 Orange County budget for various departments pursuant to section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cantorino? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulasek, Paduk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Bureau. 19 eyes. Agenda item number four. Legislator Benton, resolution authorizing a private sale and conveyance of certain county owned lands acquired by reason of a failure to redeem said lands from a tax sale to Orange County, pursuant to section 10184 of the Real Property Tax Law and Orange County Amended Local Law number two of 2010. Second. Discussion? Oh, Mama. Bonison? Yes. Turnbull? Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cantorino? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Fagione? Hines? Chemnitz? Kulasek? Padu? Ruskevich? Sullivan? Bureau? 19 eyes. And item number six. Five. Yep, five. five. That's what I meant. Five. Sorry. <laughs> This resolution was updated today, so all the parcels are included on the Schedule A. Um, legislators Benton and Turnbull, resolution approving the release of the county's interest in and to certain deed sale parcels to the previous owner of record, pursuant to Section 5, Paragraph B1 of Local Law Number 2 of 2010. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cantorino? Cheney, Dillard, DeSalvo, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulasek, Paduk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Vero, 19 eyes. Agenda item number six. Legislator Benton, resolution approving the applications for the correction of certain errors appearing on the 2016 tax rolls for certain towns and districts and ordering the correction of said errors pursuant to section 554 of the real property tax law. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cantorino? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? 
Fagion, Hines, Kemenitz, Klosek, Padu, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Vero, 19 eyes. Agenda item number seven. Legislators Ekis, Betton, and Kulasek. Bond resolution dated July 7, 2016. Bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, authorizing financing for preservation studies and interpretive research on county-owned historic properties, stating the estimated maximum cost thereof is 25,000, appropriating said amount therefore, and authorizing the issuance of 25,000 bonds of the county to finance said appropriation. Second. Discussion, Mike? Thank you, Mr. Chairman, Madam Chairman. Um, first of all, I want to thank Mr. Benton and uh, Mr. Kulasek for all the work that they've done on uh, this project and moving it forward. Uh, I know Mr. Benton has done a lot of work on it, and Mr. Kulasek, thank you for sharing the historical significance of the ruins and how they affected your childhood when you were there. Um, I learned a lot about them from both of these gentlemen. Um, can my name be added on, please? Thank you. Minority Leader Turnbull. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to support this, but I just find it um, incredible that we're bonding $25,000. It seems to me that, uh, you know, all the times that we are able to get this kind of money by transferring it or getting it within the department it's just you know to me it's a formula for abuse um, you know I, I think there should be some discussion about this in the future and see if there isn't some kind of limit we could set on especially these small amounts thank you madam chairwoman you look good in the seat there uh, that was exactly the point I was going to make uh, about bonding. $25,000, I believe, going to, for, for a, a good purpose. Not my end of the county, but I support it fully. Uh, I think it'd be fun to connect to our historic legacy, and I like parks. So, But it is kind of uh, interesting that we chose to put it on a, on a bond rather than pay $25,000 cash. I'm not going to be obstruct this. I'll vote for it. But we should have a watchful eye on this in the future. Thank you, Barry. I'd like to be added as a sponsor. Any other discussion? Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Nagastakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cantorino? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Fagione? Hines? Kemnitz? Kulasek? Paduk? Ruskevich, Sullivan, no. Vero, 18 ayes, one no. Agenda item number eight. Legislators Cheney, Fagione, Benton, Benelli. Bond resolution dated July 7, 2016. Bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, authorizing financing of capital projects included in the 2016 capital budget of the county for various improvements to Orange County Community College facilities stating the estimated maximum cost thereof is $1,325,000, appropriating said amount therefore, authorizing the issuance of 662,500 bonds of the county to finance a portion of said appropriation, and authorizing the expenditure of 662,500 expected to be received from the state of New York to pay the balance of said appropriation. Second. Okay, this will require two thirds vote. Discussion, Mr. Berkman? Sponsor, Phil. Yes. Sponsor, Paul and Mike. Can we get everybody? Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cantorino? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Fagione? Hines? Kemnitz? Kulasek? Padu? Ruskevich, Sullivan, Vero, 19 eyes. Thank you. Agenda item number nine. Legislators Dillard and Cheney. Resolution providing for a public hearing upon the tentative budget for the Orange County Community College for the fiscal year beginning September 1st, 2016, pursuant to section 6304 of the education law. Second. Discussion? 
Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, Berkman, Benelli, Cantorino, Cheney, Dillard, DeSalvo, Fagione, Hines, Keminitz, Kulasek, Padu, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Bureau, 19 eyes. Thank you. Agenda item number 10. Legislators Berkman, Cheney, Benton, Fagione, Cantorino. An act amending the appropriate Orange County employment schedules to reclassify one principal payroll clerk to associate payroll clerk at the Orange County Community College pursuant to section 2.02 I of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Nagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cantorino? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Fagione? Hines? Chemnitz? Kulasek? Paduk? Ruskevich? Sullivan? Bureau? 19 eyes. Thank you. Agenda item number 11. Legislators Benton and Cheney, an act amending the management compensation plan and salary schedule for the Orange County Management Plan pursuant to section 2.02G and H of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Matt. We discussed this in caucus. Uh, I'm not comfortable with it. I don't think it's prudent. And, um, it seems like a lot of money to increase the cap. I think it's a kind of formula for abuse. And I'd like to see more information that justify these types of uh, increasing the caps, uh, increase the caps. And certainly, uh, when you look at future budgets, you're going to see those uh, uh, salaries reflecting the increase in the cap. So. I think 3% is just a, a lot uh, at this time. Discussion? Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? No. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? No. Benton? Yes. Berkman? No. Benelli? Yes. Cantorino? No. Cheney? Yes. Dillard? No. DeSalvo? Yes. Fagione? Yes. Hines? Yes. Chemnitz? No. Pulisic? No. Paduk? No. Ruskevich? Yes. Sullivan? No. Vera? Yes. Ten ayes, nine noes. Bass. Item number 12. Legislators Dillard and Cantorino, an act amending the appropriate Orange County employment schedules to reclassify executive secre secretary and administrative assistant to executive assistant at the Orange County Department of Human Resources pursuant to section 2.02I of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Roll call, please. Anasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cantorino? Cheney, Dillard, DeSalvo, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulasek, Paduk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, no. Bureau. 18 eyes, one no. Agenda item number 13. Legislators Fagione, Cantorino, Bonasek, DeSalvo. An act amending the appropriate Orange County employment schedules to reallocate election data specialists at the Orange County Board of Elections pursuant to section 2.02I of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cantorino? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Fagione? Hines? Chemnitz? Kulasek? Paduk? Ruskevich? Sullivan? Bureau? 19 eyes. Agenda item number 14. Legislators Cantorino, Benton, Bonasek, Hines. An act amending the appropriate Orange County employment schedules to reclassify two clerks to, to election coordinators at the Orange County Board of Elections pursuant to section 2.02I of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Emo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton, Berkman, 
Benelli, Cantorino, Cheney, Dillard, DeSalvo, Baggione, Hines, Kemnitz, Kulisek, Padouf, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Bureau, 19 eyes. Thank you. Agenda items uh, 15 through 20 have been withdrawn. Agenda item number 21, please. Legislator DeSalvo, Vanasek. A lo local law introductory number 10 of 2016. A local law amending local law number 8 of 1972, fixing the compensation for the commissioners of elections as last amended by local law number 1 of 2013. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Vanasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagostakis? Yes. Benton? Yes. Berkman? Benelli? Cantorino? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo, Fagione, Hines, Kemnitz, no. Ulisek, Padouf, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Bureau. 18 ayes, 1 no. Thank you. Agenda item number 22. Legislators DeSalvo, Hines. Resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Department of Public Works, Environmental Facilities and Services to submit an application to the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation pursuant to section 99-H of a general municipal law and section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Yes, my name is Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton, Berkman, Benelli, Cantorino, Cheney, Dillard, DeSalvo, Fagione, Hines, Kemnitz, Kulisek, Padu, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Bureau, 19 eyes. Thank you. Agenda item number 23. Legislators Cantorino, Benton, Benelli. An act amending the appropriate Orange County employment schedules to create executive assistant at the Orange County Department of Finance pursuant to section 2.02i of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? No. Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cantorino? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Baggione? No. Hines? Chemnitz? Kulisek? Padu? Ruskevich, Sullivan, no. Bureau, 16 eyes, three no's. Thank you. Agenda item number 24. Legislators Fagione, Cheney, Benton, and Benelli, an act amending the appropriate Orange County employment schedules to reclassify senior clerk to senior clerk part-time at the Orange County Department of Finance, pursuant to section 2.02i of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cantorino? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Fagione? Hines? Chemnitz? Kulisek? Padu? Ruskevich? Sullivan? Vero? 19 eyes. Agenda item number 25. Legislators Cheney, Cantorino, Kulisek, Bonasek, Benton. An act amending the appropriate Orange County employment schedules to transfer various positions from the Orange County Department of Planning pursuant to section 2.02i of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion. Myrna, add your name, sure. Roll call, please. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cantorino? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulisek, Padu, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Bureau, 19 eyes. Thank you. Agenda item number 26. Legislators Cheney, Cantorino, Kulisek, Bonasek, Benton. Resolution making a supplemental appropriation to transfer two positions and budgetary appropriations from the Orange County Department of General Services to the Orange County Department of Planning, pursuant to section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cantorino? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? 
Bagione, Hines, Hemnitz, Kulasek, Paduk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Bureau, 19 eyes. Thank you. Agenda item number 27. Legislators in Agnostakis and Sullivan. Resolution confirming the reappointments by the County Executive to the Orange County Veterans Advisory Board Committee. Second. Discussion? Matt? Barry, add your names. Early. Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. And Agnostakis? Benton? Berkman, Benelli, Cantorino, Cheney, Dillard, DeSalvo, Baggione, Hines, Kemnitz, Kulasek, Bidu, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Vero, 19 eyes. Thank you. Agenda item number <laughs> Agenda item number 28, please. Legislators Bonasek, Cantorino, Amo. Resolution making a supplemental appropriation to the 2016 Orange County budget for the Orange County Department of Social Services, pursuant to section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Benagostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cantorino? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Baggione? Hines? Kemnitz? Kulasek? Padu, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Bureau, 19 eyes. Agenda items number 29 and 30 we're voting collectively on. Discussion? Mike? Sure. Roseanne? Both. Both? Mike, were you on both? Were you on both? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. And Agnostakis, Benton, Berkman, Benelli, Cantorino, Cheney, Dillard, DeSalvo, Baggione, Hines, Kemnitz, Kulasek, Paduk, Briskevich, Sullivan, Bureau. 19 eyes. Thank you. Next, we have agenda item number 31, which was consent resolution. Resolution of the Orange County Legislature sending a home rule message to Honorable Andrew Cuomo in support of recently passed legislation S7959 and 810599 authorizing the Village of Montgomery and the County of Orange acting by and through its Board of Trustees to discontinue use of park land for cer of certain lands and to use such lands for the installation and operation of solar panels to generate energy to be used for village purposes. Discussion, Jeff? Uh, maybe the part of the career that I'm most proud of is my support for parks. And of course I support solar energy as well. So these are two very laudable, supportable, uh, important topics. And I wanted to cooperate by agreeing, or not opposing, putting on by consent because I understand it's time sensitive. But I'm not going to vote for it today because I don't know enough about it. If we're going to alienate parkland, I want to know, you know, where where it's being shifted to. I, I heard it's going near DPW. This I found out about this about maybe five minutes before the meeting started. I'm not blaming anyone. I'm just saying, from my perspective, I need some more information before I could support those two lofty goals that I mentioned before. Uh, unfortunately, the person whose district is is in is not here today so i can't clear up those those issues either but uh probably this is a supportable idea but who knows because we don't have the facts before us Matt. thank you um, i couldn't agree more with uh, mr bergman um, uh, again two really important things I just can't believe that this has to be done, uh, that it can't be done. It's, it's just so much more important to get it right than to push something through. I want to thank Antoinette for uh, working on it. Certainly, uh, she did the best she could. 
but I'd like to know which park, where, where the solar panels are going. Uh, it's a whole lot of information that's missing here before support itself be voting now also. Thank you, Madam Chair. Antoinette, can you can you just tell us this is the village of Montgomery asking to alienate some of their own land, not our land, correct? That is correct. Okay, so I mean, it's their land; they own it, and they're just seeking our our permission to get this resolution presented to, to Albany, correct? Uh, no, no. As a matter of fact, this has already passed the Senate and the Assembly, and according to the legislative laws of the state of New York. Uh, once the bill is uh, forwarded to the uh, governor, um, he has 10 days within which to sign it or not to sign it. And um, so from time to time on home rule requests uh, from local municipalities, he confers uh, with the local um, host community, uh, that being in this case the county of Orange. And um, he has asked, we received a letter, uh, an email at quarter after four uh, today from his council asking for the county's uh, comments with regard to uh, the, uh, uh, this bill. Um, I uh, did, um, at, unfortunately, the village of Montgomery had, was, by the time I started working on it, the village of Montgomery was already closed. Um, Mr. Brescher is on the road. Um, he uh, did tell me that they have uh, submitted the lands that are going to be sub substituted. Uh, that was uh, before the legislature, the New York State Legislature. This passed both houses of the New York State Legislature and now it is pending signature. The time frame of five days is not set by me nor by uh, Mr. Brescia. It is set by the governor's office and by state law. So that's why um, we put it on today. Um, I, I reached, Mr. Brescia did not reach out to me. As a matter of fact, he was surprised when I called him and I told him that it did pass both houses. He did not know that did happen. Um, and uh, he was pleased to see that the governor is considering it. So that's all the information that I have. We did reach out to uh, our planning commissioner, uh, Mr. Church. Uh, he made some calls in uh, his local, you know, in, in his circles, and uh, found out that to the best of everyone's, to the people he spoke with, uh, this was not a controversial issue. Um, so once again, it was passed in both houses of the state uh, senate and assembly, uh, and it is before uh, the governor for signature. Okay, so this is basically our memorialization of their sentiments of, of uh, wanting this. This is just, uh, um, just a, and when you read the resolution, it, it's asking, uh, recommending the governor to sign into law uh, the bill, Senate Bill 7959, to allow the village to uh, discontinue the use of certain parkland for solar energy. And uh, under the state law, which I did provide for everyone, there are state conditions with respect to uh, the parkland alienation. The, uh, the uh, uh, state bill does provide the meets and bounds description of the property and does set out conditions whereby uh, they must, uh, the, the village must uh, uh, provide, uh, uh, dedicate an amount of land equal to or greater than the fair market value of the parcel. Uh, described uh, under the meets and bounds description for capital improvements of existing park and recreational facilities and or for acquisition of additional park and re recreational facilities. Um, and then if the park lands have been subject to any federal uh, support or assistance uh, through a purchase maintenance or improvement, then the village of Montgomery must also uh, comply with the federal government's parkland alienation proceedings uh, and satisfy those conditions that are set by the Secretary uh, of the Interior for conversion of, of those lands. Um, so uh, it, it really, it, there's a, 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 a three-step approach, if you will, on this property uh, because um, it, uh, it, it may be subject, it, it, it definitely is definitely subject to state parkland alienation procedures, and then it is also subject, it may be subject to federal uh, uh, alienation proceedings. And so if it, this just gives them the go-ahead to con continue to move forward. If they don't comply and they don't meet the, uh, the requirements of the state uh, or of the U.S. Uh, Secretary of the Interior, uh, the project dies. So that's the, 
to me, that's the ultimate check on that, the check and balance that we have on the project. Okay, so, I mean, I'm going to support this because it's their land and it's their decision, in, in my opinion. Everyone knows that I don't support solar energy because uh, without government subsidy, government taxation, uh, support from every single citizen who pays taxes in the United States, this industry would be nowhere because it's nowhere near uh, has any sort of economic benefit other than uh, what is uh, given to it by the government and that unfortunately is all of us in this room. Thank you, Mike and Agnostakis and Mike Paduk. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, while I understand my colleague Mr. Berkman's concerns, um, I think the key here is, I I'll be voting for this, because we hear it over and over, we're in a home rule state. And as our council just mentioned, the, the owners of the land are the municipality of the village of Montgomery. And they have worked with their state representatives. They have a senator, they have an assembly person. Those persons have worked with the municipality to pass the appropriate bills in Albany. Um, there are New York state laws and federal laws that have to be met, and they're being met. And, um, and now we're basically doing a memorialization to say we don't have any objection to this. Um, you know, had our commissioner said people had many, many concerns when he talked to them, maybe I'd have thought different, although still it's a home state, uh, it's a municipal home rule state. Um, so I'm going to support the municipality led by our chairman, Mr. Brescia, and I'll be voting for this. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, um, you, I guess there, this wasn't subject to any kind of public hearings. Um, people who live in Montgomery, was there any discussion with the public? I, I, I don't know. I don't represent the village, and I, I, I was not able to communicate with them. Uh, but I'm sure that this is a matter that has been before their, uh, their meetings. Their meetings are open. I think they meet, um, I'm not sure if once or twice a month, uh, so it's been full, you know, it would have been vented in that, in that arena. You're thinking that it did, but it's not a requirement. That, uh, well, well uh, what I am saying is that I do not know that they have a public hearing, but I do know that it was on their public agenda. Oh, okay. Um, so it was discussed in public? Yes. Discussed prior to, I guess, I don't have the facts as I said before. Yes, that's Yeah, the timing obviously is very unfortunate uh, in not giving us some time to, to vet this further, but um, I'd just like to uh, assure my fellow legislators that uh, the village of Warwick went through this process about 12 years ago, and um, it's something that is brought before the public um, through the uh, meetings that the village has to make this request to the legislature. And, and the key component of it is that the, any land that's alienated, that's park land that's alienated, has to be, um, basically you have to find other land to put back into and replace this land that's of equal or greater value. And that is something that uh, is scrutinized in, in Albany by the, the legislative staff um, so this, and based on the experience in Warwick, um, this, you know, really wouldn't have seen the light of day. They take this very seriously in Albany relative to alienating any parkland, and uh, you have to demonstrate that uh, uh, what you're giving back in parkland is of equal or greater value. Thank you. Mike? Thank you, Mary. That really answered my question. Oh, I have another question. I'm sorry. So does that parkland, that state, lands that's given back to them as the swap is that state lands that's in montgomery but not any other municipality well that that's the land that's being swapped to put the solar panels on right i'm saying what is the the state lands that's being given back to them it, it is not it's village land Further discussion?
take roll call. Honestly? Yes. Turpel? No. Amo? Yes. And Abdistakis? Yes. Benton? Yes. Berkman? No. Benelli? Yes. Cantorino? Cheney? Dillard? Salvo? Yes. Fagione? Yes. Hines? Yes. Kemnitz? Yes. Kulasek? Yes. Paduk? No. Miskevich? Yes. Sullivan? Bureau? Yes. 16 eyes, 3 no's. Thank you. <coughs> um, that was our last agenda item. Leader Madam Chair. <laughs> Thank you. Um, public participation. Nobody signed up. So I guess this is where I say motion to adjourn. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Have a good night. Thank you.